I got brides in Atlanta, she's a dog in the family, credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the van, legacies. Now I'm back, okay. We left off trying to do this dang puzzle, which I was very exhausted last night, that night. And, uh, well, I'm still exhausted to this one. Images carved in stone. Somehow these hold the key to the water temple. Would it be from left to right? Huh. Let me try something. Uh, is it that, that, and that? Didn't know. Let me try again. See, that's it. Guess so. Clearly, this is the Temple of Water. Ah, it is some kind of mirror. But what is its purpose? Clearly. The water totem. Alright, now what? Oh yeah, how you want to me? Ah! Ah! Enough games. Yield before Olmec. Oh, hello. Is this old one preparing for battle? Old man, what say you? I say that the end is near. Quetzalcoatl will destroy us all, lest I find one who can bring me the pod of might. What name do you go by, Ancient One? My name is Tezekatl. I am the village's last hope. It is my duty as village witch Destroy this devil who plagues us. Uh, hold on, I gotta like I have problems with my nose here. What is this pod you speak of? The sacred pod of might. It contains the seeds I require to finish my spell. Yet there is no way. To reach it. Why is that? It clings to the joining tree, surrounded by liquid fire. Not even your stone form could withstand its heat. How does the tree survive if it is surrounded by fire? It is magic, as is the pod that grows on its mighty trunk. Huh. However, the magic is fading, and the limbs will soon wither and burn. There must be some way to reach it. Perhaps the ancient rite of the warrior may be the answer. 
Sansa. Right of the warrior? What will that old magic accomplish? It is old indeed, wise one. Though not practiced for many generations, it is rumored to have the ability to make a warrior impervious to the elements. Then I will go through the trials. Perform it. Forgive me, sacred one. I cannot. I don't remember the complete ceremony. However, the stonemason knows it. He is the village chief now, and is over at the huts. Why do you sit here, idle in the village instead of fighting? What kind of coward are you? Harsh words, your holiness. But I am not merely sitting here. I am meditating to gain the power needed to combat his awful magic. How do you expect to defeat a god, little man? I don't. He is very strong. I cannot possibly hope to defeat him. However, if I anger him enough with my spell, he will spend precious energy on me. That should sufficiently weaken him enough for you to defeat him. You would sacrifice yourself for the village? It must be done. What spell are you preparing? It is called the Spirit Fire. It creates a mystic energy wave formed by the souls of the dead. I see the temples are nearly destroyed by Quetzalcoatl's dark magic. Yes, the totems may be in grave danger. What totems are you speaking of? The statues sheltered within the temples. These statues represent the purity of the gods themselves. I believe Quetzalcoatl fears them, else why would he seek to destroy them? Your wife mourns for you, witch. She knows what I plan, and fears the future without me. She has seen our two warrior sons die at the hands of Quetzalcoatl, and so she will bury me. So I'm guessing I have to see the stonemason to ask him about the ritual, ceremony ritual, for me to walk through the fire. Clearly. Let's talk to her real quick. Your husband is a brave man, old one. He faces Quetzalcoatl to help the good of the village. He knows he will not survive the battle. And what of me? I need his protection more than the rest of the village. He should be here for me. Still your selfish tongue, Crone. He does what is required. He faces death as a brave warrior should. You are as much of a fool as him. Wow, you bitch. Jeez, like she had to be a jerk and all, you know what I'm saying? Complimenting your husband to be in battle. I have found your daughter, Macy. It is time for. You are truly honorable, old mech. Please find it in your heart to forgive me. Enough groveling, Chieftain. Get on with it. Yes, of course. There are two stages to the ritual. The first, an act of bravery and heroism. You've already shown that by returning- Hold on. Damn it! I'd like to undergo the second stage of the ritual. Do you know all six names of the warriors who came before you? Yes, I do. Then let us begin, Olmec. Name the six warriors, starting with the youngest and ending with the eldest. Uh, well, I... Fucked up. Tippy talk. Sentiotl. Weetzel up. 
Mixquotal. Omitok. Zilunen. I am sorry, old brave Olmec, but that is incorrect. Review their lineage, and I will test you again. Hmm, I guess I had to do the ceremony. I I'd like to undergo it. the second stage of the ritual. Do you know all six names of the warriors who came before you? Yes, I do. Then let us begin, Olmec. Name the six warriors, starting with the youngest and ending with the eldest. Zilunen. Omitok. Tipitok. Sentiotl. Witzelop. Mixquotl. Hmm. You are most wise, Grand Olmec. You are now ready for the ancient magics of the land, handed down to me by my father and his father before him. To protect you from the mighty elements, I must combine your stone flesh with my blood and the magics of the earth. This will create a temporary magical barrier between yourself and the forces of nature. How long will it last? Not long. You must be swift in your quest. Blood of the holy, flesh of the warrior, married to the heart of the land in a union of protection and power. Hear my prayers for divine conjuring. Bring forth the sacred magics of the deep earth to shield this noble warrior from the harsh elements. It is done. Go forth and fulfill your destiny, Olmec. The fate of our village lies in your hands. All right then. So I guess I did the ceremony and all six of the people before me and now I get to go into the slava and get that weird thing. Might, old one. Here, work your magic. Very good. Thank you, sacred one. I will begin at once. Mm -hmm. I go to fulfill my destiny. May my sacrifice save the village. Although honorable in your sacrifice, the village is still in danger, old one. Quetzalcoatl has powerful magic at his disposal. M mask. Mask? What mask do you speak of? D Death mask. <laughs> his power c comes from it. <laughs> Where is it? Below the maze. <sighs> the witch doctor's broken body. Rest now, valiant one. The witch doctor's witch doctor's corpse. His blood flows freely from wounds that will not heal. Many have been sacrificed. An empty. The witch doctor.
many have been suffering. Innocence. A sacrificial bowl. The wind. That would be. The wind. Perhaps. Mm. A sacred Holy One, this blood is sacred indeed, but still, a second offering is required. The heart which does not bleed. Find this, and the door of the temple shall open. Mm. An empty s Now what? She has poisoned herself and joined her husband in death. She has. She has poisoned. She has. Play pot of crude design. Simple pottery. I wonder what is next. Enough games. Yield before Olmec. Big head. An empty copper. Perhaps another time. No. The witch doctor's broken. They have on. A crystal heart. Oh. Wonder if that would go to the Jaguar Temple. Like, what should I do now? Turn for some strange purpose. Not great.
I'm just taking a wild guess here and see if it's like if you turn every single one of them into that weird animal. Ancient heroes. What? No painting of the mighty Olmec? Murals of ink what? Huh. Like are they all this is not possible. I cannot go. Surely, surely. <laughs> I'm so lost. Such an action. I have no clue. Oh my. I'm so stupid. Look at this. It goes that, that. Stone steps. The symbols carved into them mark this as a place of great magic. 
I get it now. Oh fuck, I missed it. Alright, damn it. Alright, I know what it is now. I'm so stupid. Sorry, I apologize, but I was like really being dumb. Uh Bull. Crescent moon and then that infinite thing and the mask thing, so it's the moon. Next is Crescent Moon. Infinite Symbol. Mask. Exploding thingy. Fish. And then the target. The Jaguar's power is revealed. Whoa. Ah, oh, God, God damn it! All right, I guess it's that cutscene is not gonna work out. All right, apparently we made it to the maze. What do you do? And the cutscene was over.
Ah, you bitch! That was close! This looks like a release switch. Surely there... Mm. Ah, must take care of Not good, damn it. Ah, oh, fuck. So infuriating. How? How? There's no fucking way! So gay ass bullshit!
Are you kidding me? I'm fucking going. Okay, I didn't want to go down there, you dumbass fuck. Come on! I had it, and I just had to keep walking. You're gonna, you're gonna go? Thanks. Oh my god. Oh. oh my god. These pathways are not strong. Really? I have to do that all over again. 
And again, let's keep fucking going till we fuck up and die because we're little bitches. in time! Oh my god, are you kidding me?
cannot go. Really? There must be a way. I cannot go. What did I just do? Hold on, let me... I have no clue what I did, hold on. What did I just do? what I did My fuck, dude, are you kidding me? I don't know how to move that though. Okay. This is where I'm lost because
I don't know if I'm missing anything, that's the point. I see now. No! Come on. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, my poor baby. You had an awful fall. I'm so glad you've come home. Home? Well, of course, silly. You did want to come home, didn't you? Yes, I, I wanted to... Well, then that's that. Hush now, Max. When you fell down the chimney, you bumped your head, and now you're a little confused, that's all. My... My head hurts. I remember hitting it. That's right, dear. You hit your head on the chimney. Now don't give it another thought. I'll take care of you. Chimney? No, I... I hit it... No, I hit it on... In... My... My... Car? No, of course not, dear. You just bumped... Yes, my car. I was driving and... The brakes... But Max... We've been waiting for you for so long. Don't leave now. We? Who? Why, me and little Sarah, of course. <laughs> Who else would it be, silly? But... But that's impossible. Sarah is dead. Sarah! Max is home. Max! You're home, you're home. I missed you. You're alive! My God, Sarah! No! You're dead! What the fuck? Your tenacity is quite remarkable, you know. Your doctor tells me that you should have died in the car wreck. I wish things could have worked out differently, Max, but they didn't. You leave me little choice, old friend. Did you honestly expect me to sit by while you went public with your cure? 
No. I've worked much, much too hard to allow that. I guess this is goodbye, Max. I'm truly sorry it had to end like this. Farewell. Quattle murdering an entire village. Morgan trying to kill me. Now I see the connections. None of this is real. Well, I hope you guys and gals enjoy that video. And like always, stay strong and talk to you guys and gals in the next video. Peace out.